Not every basketball player started dribbling a ball in the crib. In fact, some of the greatest NBA players started playing the game late or were just late bloomers. You know what they say, better late than never. This is pretty impressive because even starting something in your teens is a lot tougher than starting it at the developmental stages of your life. The older we get, the more we get set in our ways, the harder these things are. This list of ballers was a surprise to me when I first learned about them, but now that I've seen what they were able to do since they started, it makes these guys even more impressive. But before we jump into the NBA players that started their careers at a later age, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Dirk Nowitzki The big German looked like he could become anything but an NBA player. Why? Well, being an unathletic and slow big man that didn't have any hops didn't help his cause. Even with that being so, and despite the fact that he started playing at the age of 13, big man Dirk Nowitzki worked his way to being the greatest shooting big man ever, and one of the most prolific scorers this game has ever seen. 13 might not sound like it's old, but most of these professional athletes start out of the crib, and if they don't, they're super athletic. Dirk had a long climb, but he made the trek. Amari Studemeyer Few people remember how much of a dominant beast Amari Studemeyer was on both ends of the glass, not to mention his top-notch scoring punch due to his physicality and ability to dominate down low. What makes his game even more surprising is the fact that he started playing basketball when he was 14 years old, just a year after Dirk started. Plus, his life when he was younger wasn't a great one, so he had the odds stacked against him. For us diehard fans, we thank Amari for his perseverance and tenacity on and off the court. Next is Ben Wallace. Big Ben Wallace is arguably the most dominant defender in the paint, even despite the fact that he was never much of a highly ranked prospect, nor a good scorer either. Wallace also won four Defensive Player of the Year awards, tied for most with Mutombo. Big Ben overcame all odds and started playing basketball in high school, just to eventually become one of the biggest factors as to why the Pistons wound up winning the championship thanks to his added blue-collar grit, grind, and hustle. It is noteworthy that Big Ben was the 10th child of 11 children, so between starting late and getting lost in the shuffle, he has turned out just fine. Mark Eaton most of the young fans here won't remember Mark Eaton because he wasn't nearly half as good as the players we just mentioned. But still, the fact that he found his way to the NBA despite starting his career at 20 years old is pretty damn impressive. As a matter of fact, he didn't make it to the NBA until he was 26 years old, becoming one of the league's best players and winning a couple of Defensive Player of the Year awards. Joel Embiid The loudmouth, swagger-filled, sensational big man out of Cameroon didn't start playing basketball until he was 15 years old. The process discovered the game of basketball thanks to the league's Basketball Without Borders program. Prior to being an NBA player, the young Embiid enjoyed playing volleyball and was hoping to pursue a career in it. Makes sense because he is tall and athletic, but luckily for us basketball fans, he took the route he did. Gladly, we're now seeing him as one of the most exciting prospects to watch in the world. And who knows, with the rumors swirling, he may have a new sidekick in Philly with a big beard. Steve Francis Steve Francis was enormously talented, and it's pretty nice to wonder what could have been out of him if he had spent more time learning the fundamentals of the game. A lot of younger people don't know, have forgotten, and or do not appreciate what Stevie franchise was on the court. Steve Francis wasn't able to start playing organized basketball until the age of 16 after his mother passed away. Still, the former Rookie of the Year was able to make it to the league at 22, also making it to three All-Star games. Even Jay-Z referenced Steve Francis in one of his verses. Jay rapped, And I'm the franchise like a Houston Rocket. Yao Ming, from La La La, Excuse Me Miss Again. Hakeem Olajuwon Pretty much every single big man in the world tries to shape his game after Hakeem the Dream Olajuwon. But most surprisingly, the most talented center in NBA history didn't start playing basketball until he was 15 years old. Olajuwon is perhaps the greatest proof of true talent, with his ballerina-like footwork and outstanding defensive awareness being a part of him all along. I have so much respect for the dream, even if he did crush my heart in the 1994 finals. Dikembe Mutombo started to play at the age of 16, yet another outstanding defender out of Africa makes our list, as the Hall of Famer big man didn't start playing basketball until he was accepted by Georgetown University. Can you imagine that? Asking a young man to play basketball for your Division I school without ever playing? Wow. Even so, he found his way to four Defensive Player of the Year awards and became one of the league's most iconic shot blockers ever with his signature finger wag. I keep that finger wag alive when someone tried to shoot paper into the wastebasket. Dennis Rodman 
The Worm is one of the most dominant rebounders this game has ever seen, a standout defender that has a huge factor in two different championship teams en route to rings with the Pistons and the Bulls. He didn't start playing until he was in high school, but according to him, he was unable to even make a layup. Also, he didn't make it to the league until he was 25 years old, after playing for three years at Southeastern Oklahoma State. Dennis surely proves that sometimes the most obvious isn't the most obvious. Lastly, Tim Duncan. Most young fans won't know this, but before becoming one of the best big men in the history of the game, the Virgin Islands native Tim Duncan had a great career as a professional swimmer. Sadly for him, a hurricane destroyed the island's only Olympic swimming pool, and he was forced to change sports after he had to train in the ocean. Why was the ocean bad for him? One of his greatest fears is of sharks. So he didn't start playing until he was 14 years old, and eventually grew to become a five-time NBA champion, two-time MVP, and three-time finals MVP. These guys prove that you either have it or you don't. And it's clear they have it. Check out some of these videos.